Hey, hey, what's going on there, guys? Monster Man Vapes coming back to you for episode 10 of the pre-made wire slash coil review series. That's right, we're now hit the double digits as far as episodes for the series. So what do I got to review? Well, simple. I got some Medusa brand alien coils. Now, like all their coils, you get one pair per package. They are Canthal, and the gauges used are three cores of 24 gauge and 32 gauge on the outside. 24 gauge seems a bit thick for aliens, in my opinion, but let's see how these are. So next step will be to dive down to the table and take a closer look at them. So here we go. All right, folks, so as always, this is the packaging that the quilts come in. Traditional white with black lettering, gauges down here, Canthal, one pair. So next step will be to take them out and take a closer look at the quilts themselves. So here's a closer look at those aliens and Right off the bat, the Alien Clapton wire is spaced. Now these do look pretty janky as there is. You can tell in some spots like right there that the Alien Clapton is not even. If you're going to space them out, at least be even, you know, like there's some spacing right there. So these could have been done a lot better. They are a bit on the janky side. Not as bad as that pair of staggered fused that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. So these aren't the best looking ones I reviewed so far, but they're not the worst. So the next step will be to insert them into an RDA and get them burning from the inside out. And considering how large these coils are, I have taken my Buddha version 2 out of retirement. So I'll be using the big boy for these alien coils. So let's get them inserted. Alright folks, so now that we got them burning evenly, wicked and juiced up, let's bring it back up to the face cam, vape on them and give you my thoughts. Alright folks, so those coils came out to actually a .1. So they said .25 per coil on the packaging, so you were thinking, you would think maybe a .12, maybe a .13. So .1, eh, that's, clo that's pretty close. Got it at 4.2 volts on the Titan PWM mod, which is running 196 watts. Got the airflow on the Buddha about halfway open. Let's have a go. So running these coils at that kind of wattage at the 196 watts, the vapor production is pretty, pretty good actually. I will give it that on the vapor production. Thick dense clouds but the flavor is not is not it, it's decent it's but it's not killer from what aliens are known to give these are actually pretty this is almost like aliens rejected cousin you know it it performs decent but overall flavor is not good <laughs> And also the fact that the Alien Clapton wire, the 32 gauge on the outside, was spaced. If you're going to make an alien, make a proper alien. They, These are not real aliens. These are more of a half-ass spaced alien, in my opinion. A real alien is something like Mitch Green's Vapor Hogs Anonymous Aliens, where the alien wire is nice and tight. So would I recommend this to someone who's just getting into rebuildables? No, because the fact that the coils themselves are just so huge, I had to put them in my Buddha V2, which is a 30 millimeter RDA, just in order to have enough room to properly build them and properly wick them. 
So that does it for this episode of the Pre-Made Wire slash Coral Review Series, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got all my subscribers, so come join the family. And like I always say, until next time, Monster Man Vapes, signing off.